who got the hit off you, you know him? Yes, we uh, played travel ball in high school together and kind of grew up in the same area, played Little League together. So if I was giving it up to someone, I guess it's good that, you know, help a friend out, I guess. <laughs> so you, you were literally on the same Little League team? No, we just we knew each other growing up. He was a year younger than me, and then uh, we played travel ball for a year or two together. And then, but he went to a different high school than I. And we never got to play each other in high school, but with each other in travel ball during the summer and stuff. What was the name of that team? Uh, the Palomino Red Sox. And tra travel ball at what age? We were, I think he was 16, I was 17. And then when I was 18, he was 17. Both my, my sophomore, junior year, his freshman, sophomore, junior year, I think, if I could remember correctly. Going into that inning, are you are you feeling tons of pressure out of nowhere that maybe you weren't thinking was going to happen a couple um, of weeks before that? Not so much. I mean, you're pitching with a five-run lead. It makes it easier on me, but that also is part of the pitch selection, you know. I don't know if I'm pitching with a one-run lead if he's getting a 2-1 fastball there, but it's, you know, tip my cap. I didn't think it was that bad of a pitch. He did a really good job, you know, stayed on it and went the other way with it. And you can tell the way we're you know shifting him. He doesn't hit the ball that way very often. So, you know, I tip my cap to him. You know, disappointing that we didn't get the no-no, but still got the win, so. Yeah, about that, the quick response of this team, you know, after last night, you know, the, how it turned out. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's just baseball. You know, we all, we know there's a lot of games, and after a long travel day, not to make excuses, but we're a little lethargic, but came out today and saw the bats were hot early, and then, you know, Chen was amazing out there. And, so it's too bad we couldn't finish it off for them. Seems like just talking to some of the guys, they they seemed just no question on board with Donnie's decision. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm, I wasn't in the dugout, so I don't know right. what the reactions were, the conversations were with between those two. But I mean, usually when Donnie's making a decision, he's got a lot of different input from different people. So, you know, I'm I'm sure that, that Chen was on board with it, and and everyone else is fine with it too. Do you have any sort of relationship with Hinegar now through the years? Touch base in the off season or work out together or anything? Everything. I mean, we see each other every once in a while. Right. We actually just saw each other this off season at an award banquet in the Bay Area, okay. and you know, talked a little bit, but not not as much as I would have thought because right. we you know, kind of got caught up in the whole you know talking to everyone else sure. that was there. So you know, but you know, see him every once in a while, see him around, say hi. Probably say hey during BP this week at all, or I tried to go out right. today, and I, I don't know if he hit in the first group, but he wasn't out there, so I haven't. Really talked to him. I texted him after the game. Said, "Yeah, good piece of hitting. You know, stayed on that ball well." So that was about it.